the Akkadians uh, kind of bridge the gap between Sumerian culture and Babylonian culture. It's a very gray area when it comes to this topic. Uh, it seems that this kind of tribe of pre-Babylonian Babylonians emerge almost to replace the Sumerian culture around 3000 BC. The Akkadians synthesized so much of the mythos and magic of the prior Sumerians integrating it into what we call Babylonian that it is often difficult to determine what is purely Sumerian versus what is purely Babylonian. Uh, one, one example that was given to me is that basically in that, in that regional area that everything prior to 2018 BC is basically Sumerian and then everything after that point is Babylonian. So, in looking at this tradition, in looking at the Akkadians, we see a series of protection rituals, spells, incantations, usually referred to as exorcisms, uh, concerned with against demonic possession. What is interesting is that these Akkadian tablets indicate incantations that so closely mirror what we find in the Necronomicon that the two cannot be disputed. Uh, this is definitely of interest to those that think that uh, the Necronomicon is a complete hoax with, with no validity and that the editor or authors completely made all this up. In one, we find uh, it's actually in the Greek language, same tradition. It says, the wicked god, the wicked demon, the demon of the desert, the demon of the mountain, the demon of the sea, the demon of the marsh, spirit of the sky conjure it, spirit of the earth conjure it. Another charm uh, appearing in both sources, they are seven, they are seven, in the depths of the ocean they are seven, in the brilliant heavens they are seven, they proceed from the depths of the ocean, from the hidden retreat. They are not male or female. They stretch themselves out like chains. They have no spouse. They produce no children. They are strangers to benevolence. The enemies, the enemies, they are seven. They are seven. They are seven times seven. Spirit of the sky, may they be conjured. Spirit of the earth, may they be conjured. And to some unfamiliar with the Necronomicon, you're thinking, well, so the hell what? Well, if I can refer you to your <laughs> Necronomicon on page 87 in the exorcism against the possessing spirit, what is it that we find? It says to be said uh, when the body of the possessed is distant or when secrecy must be maintained to be performed within thy circle before thy watcher. What does it describe or how does this work? Okay. The wicked god, the wicked demon, the demon of the desert, the demon of the mountain, the demon of the sea, of the marsh, the wicked genius, the enormous larvae, the wicked winds, the spirit of the sky, remember, the spirit of the earth, remember. So, very, very close to the first Akkadian incantation. The second Akkadian incantation is actually on page 79. And a yeah, conjuration against the seven liars in wait. In the Akkadian version, it is called the conjuration against the seven maskim. In the Necronomicon, we find the conjuration against the seven liars in wait. It says they are seven, they are seven. In the depths of the ocean, they are seven. In the shining heavens, they are seven. They proceed from the ocean's depths, they proceed from the hidden retreat. They are neither male nor female, these which stretch themselves out like chains. They have no spouse, they beget no children. They are strangers to charity, they ignore prayers, they scoff at wishes. They are vermin that come forth from the mountains of Mashu. 
enemies of our master Enki. The enemies, the enemies, the seven enemies, they are seven, they are seven. They are seven times seven. Spirit of the sky, remember. Spirit of the earth, remember. So, Akkadian tablets, Necronomical incantations.